Hello everyone, welcome back to a vlog. Yes, I'm back to vlogging. Had a couple of weeks off just because treat myself, you know, it's August, it's my birthday month. Yes, I have an entire month for my birthday. And yeah, I just needed a recharge. It's so hot. Everywhere is hot and sticky and smelly and I am officially over it. Now I don't mean to start off this vlog with a massive moan but I am very much feeling like I am wishing away these summer days and I am just beckoning autumn to come into our midst. I need it, I need it in my life. So today is Tuesday, let's be specific about this and get the date. It's the 27th of August and I'm off today for my Botox. I think it's called a Botox review. And basically I had my first Botox. I made that video so you guys would have seen that. If you haven't seen it already, I'll put a little eye button one of these sides, wherever it may land, so that you can catch up on that. I am very much happy with my forehead. This life changing yes definitely i would recommend this if of course you are thinking of getting botox no one has to get botox it is your own choice um however this area lots of you guys have said you've noticed a difference i can't say i've noticed a difference i may just be double chin bound for the rest of my life but you know hey ho it is what it is so yeah today i'm off for my review I'm gonna see Dr. Juliana. She is seeing me at 12 p.m. So I'm gonna go have a little washeroo and then get dressed. I'm actually relatively early, which is surprising. It's 9.19 a.m. Plenty of time to get ready at a leisure pace. <laughs> so much you would not believe I've managed to get myself dressed I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on in a minute not much I'm not gonna put any kind of like base or anything on because the dock is only gonna have to remove it anyway and actually I think I'm also having a facial peel today which is exciting but first of all I need to show you something which has changed my life forever Ta -da! Okay, life-changing might have been a little bit dramatic, but I have got myself some new jewellery organisational trays. Aren't they just delicious? Look at all of this organisational goodness. So some of you may have seen these over on my Insta stories because I featured them in that massive fashion related Q&A that I did on Bank Holiday Monday. I bought them off Amazon. The links for these will be down yonder in the description box below for anyone who is interested. Basically, I just wanted a bit more organization in my life for my jewelry. So I got a few different kinds. I got the set of four which you'll see if you click on the link, which is this one and this one, which is really good for rings and earrings and things. And then this one's empty at the moment because I know I have some new Misoma jewelry on the way, but this is eventually what it will look like because I have lots and lots of necklaces. So I like just to have them all neatly arranged like so, so yeah. There we go, I just wanted to show you guys because these bad boys are awesome! Right, this hot, sweaty mess is ready to rock and roll. I've got myself dressed. I'm wearing comfort today. It's all about comfort because I'm already just dripping. So I've got a little flowery tea dress on from Cezanne, Judith 
because I can crossbody hair and it's convenient. Necklace is Misoma, earrings are Misoma, which you can't see because of my earphones. But there they are, I've got a little ear cuff there, huggies, some small hoops. And of course, my lightning bolt stud in the other ear. And then trainers. I figured trainers were the best option Ooh, for today. So I've got my Veja waters on and of course, my chilies bottle. So, I've got myself plenty of time. I'm gonna head off to see Dr. Juliana now. Hi, me. Oh, I'm breaking the apparatus already. <laughs> I'm in the chair. Just had our little convo. Just like a little assessment of what's going on with my face. So now, what is this? Kind of like a review, I guess? It is, so yeah. yeah. So you're having a review and then a little top-up today. Okay, review yeah, and a top-up. So we're really happy with what's going on in the forehead. As I said, it's a good thing. And then I think we're just gonna do, I have to do all these funny faces, you see. So I, we're gonna do, <laughs> Um, it makes me giggle. Little touch-ups here, and then the majority is gonna be in these bits here in my neck. I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. Oh, and am, am I having a face peel? Today? Was I? I don't know. We could do. We were planning that, yes. I, but it depends on what you're doing social-wise. Oh, uh, why do, do I have downtime with that? One heel you wanted to do today. Just Will I look like a beetroot? Oh, no, I just have a little bit of pinkishness for about 30 minutes or so. Oh, right, yeah, no, that doesn't Shall we do it? me. Yeah, let's go for it. Hey. Getting the fan ready because I'm having my. I've just had to clarify this to make sure I get the technical, <laughs> <laughs> technical terminology right, seems as I get everything wrong. This is a medical facial. facial. Indeed. What are we doing? We're extracting things. Right, so exactly. So we're going to be cleaning the T-zone. So okay. the pores, we're going to clean up the melanin, the pigment in here. Make it nice and clean and close them up. Awesome. And then really smoothing out the texture of the skin. Giving that skin radiance and that glow that we all need, don't we? Yes, I time. want to glow. <laughs> right, so where have we done thus far so with the, look at the here. medical facial? Oh, so, sorry guys, we're going in close. <laughs> So we've Watch yourselves. All over, but what I've done on the nose here, yeah. I haven't done any treatment on here, so you can see okay. the pores. Yeah? Look at them bad boys. Summertime, we're sweating. Yeah. All of the melanin is oxidized, and then let's go on this side. Ooh. Oh, shitting. See? Pretty good, huh? Look at that. <laughs> so but we are going to do the rest well, of the nose, I hope, aren't we? I hope so. <laughs> right, I've had my medical facial. I have a little bit of redness in some areas, just because that's what happens. And I've got a mask on my lips because I had really dry lips today. An Alco wipe, did you say this is? Yep, this is just to cleanse the areas we're going to inject. And then again, E for me. That's the one. Good girl. A little bit lower down to here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all right. There we go. And then on the other side as well. It's very glamorous, like. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So you can see that band. I see. This and you bit don't here. see that band there. So that's stopped there now. And we're just going to tidy it up all the way down through here. There we go. Yes, all the tidying. I know lots of you guys have been intrigued to see how this happens. This is the magic. <laughs> and I'm going to have to pull all the faces again. We are going to have to pull yes. all the faces. Okay, am I okay to bring this over? Of course you can, yes. Okay. So I'm going to get you to sit back for me. Okay. Bit. How's that? Good. Okay. All good? Yeah, what so, face are we doing We're going to go frown down. Okay. So we're looking at this area now. Right. Yeah. Seeing where the contraction is. So you can see there's a little bit more residual contraction. We're going to open that up a bit more, but keep it natural. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to feel where the muscle is. There it is. Relax now for me completely and breathe in. Well done. You're doing really, really well. Is it? The distraction there for you? There you go. Really well. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Just being cleaned up. My little speckles there. Got some on my neck. And then. I'm Lots of expressions, that. huh? Yeah. Lots of expressions. Oh, tonight. there has been many expressions. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm supposed to do the expressions, yes. aren't I? Yep, that was interesting. What's, what's, what's the deal with that? With the doing it the just expressions? It allows you to 
spreads that injection that treatment to the spreading it. The muscle so I've got to be doing my <laughs> ooh, my uh, and it. my yay in the smile. <laughs> That's it. That's my homework for this evening. And obviously we're going to keep cleaning upwards and no pressure on the areas, particularly Ooh, on the upper face. Oh yeah. And that's it. Fresh. That's the only facial expression I can do right now to describe the heat. Look at, look at this. That's actual sweat beadlets. Yes, sweat beadlets coming at you on screen. So I'm home, obviously. Had my uh, procedure done. Ooh. And uh, it's just unavoidable right now. I must shower the sweat beadlets and the... Well, I don't smell too bad actually. But I just simply must shower. And then I'm going to show you guys. Oh, you see them two boxes down there? My birthday treats in there. I've got two different items to choose from so you guys can help me decide and hopefully they fit. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Boom. So I have been very much trying to shop secondhand as much as possible and I did hunt, trawl even the internet to find these secondhand. But I think they might be new styles and that's why I have unfortunately not found them. So I did succumb to purchasing new but I have another pair of summer on boots upstairs which are coming on to almost, I think they're they're four years old in September and I love them. So I know this is not going to be the sort of thing that I get bored of after one season. That is not how I shop anymore, folks. So without further ado, let's open box number one. Oh, they've put them in the dust bags. Oh, oh super beautiful. I've gone for two pairs of, I want to say tan, but these are like on brown boots by Saint Laurent because it is one of my favorite brands for boots. I just think ugh, the shape, the cut, the design, yes, delicious. They are both suede. So this is pair number one. These are called West 45 Chelsea boot. My other um, black Chelsea boots, which I was just talking about, they're called Wyatt and they're like a mock croc. You would have seen them before. I love them so much. So I've ordered these in a 41. Ah, oh, these ones are slightly different. These ones are called West 40 Buckle something Strubo. <laughs> There'll be links down below. So these ones, they're a similar color, aren't they? They're the same colour, they're the exact same colour. So they're a really dark tan, which is precisely what I was looking for because this is something that I don't have. Oh, you're so beautiful. <sighs> now, the size that has arrived ooh, in these is a 40 and a half. So I'm gonna try these on and see. What do you think, style A or style B? think I'm more drawn to style B just because I love this little buckle. Keeping both is not an option so don't even try and tempt me guys. For uh, again demonstration purposes I've got one foot of one type of boot the other of the other boot. So this one is the more sort of traditional Chelsea boot. I've got my jeans over the top but there is a bit of room in there because I have ginormous feet, size 41, and there'll be nothing to stop me tucking those in there like that. And the second pair are the ones with the buckle and the little strap. Again, I've just tucked them in so that you can see, but this would equally work with the jeans over the top as well. There is enough room. Hi. Yeah, okay. So there are the options. I must say, now that I've got them on, I'm actually slightly more drawn to these. And I thought it was going to be these. So there's a tough decision ahead of me. Right, I'm going to set you guys up here because the light oh, is fresh. 
Anyway, I have something quite exciting to show you guys, which I mentioned at the start of this vlog, I think, when I was talking about my jewellery. But before I do, full disclaimer, coming at ya. This segment, these next few minutes of this vlog that you are about to see, is sponsored by Miss Soma. My faves, my faves for jewellery. So they have a new collection out with Lucy Williams and I'm just going to put this out there into the void. This is by far my favourite Lucy Williams collection. Maybe because I am an 80s kid as well, I don't know, but it's my fave. So I have been sent some of this new collection and this isn't particularly going to be a little unboxing because this actually arrived yesterday and because I was so excited I ripped open the box, took everything out and then started putting it in my new jewellery trays. So without further ado I'm going to get showing you the pieces which I have chosen, hand-picked from this new Lucy Williams collection. I'm going to start off with some earrings because you all know I love my earrings. So first of all, I've got these giant hoops. Well, they're not giant, but they're giant for me in comparison to what I normally wear. So they're like a double hoop with a hinge. I'm going to have to take these out so I can show you what they look like in. Oh yes, what a dream. I love those. As I said, they are a little bit bigger than what I would normally wear and they're a little bit heavier, but I like them. They're like a double hoop. Nice and basic, not too fussy. Yes. <gasps> love them, love them. Now I did go for also a slightly smaller option as well. These are kind of like, kind of like huggies, but with a little cross. And the cross is actually uh, a motif which runs throughout this whole collection. Now, I'm not religious, but I do love a cross in my jewellery. Mm, there we go. Nice. Look, look how cute they are. Well, what I love about these sort of slightly smaller earrings as well is that they're great if you have multiple holes in your ears. They are really good for layering. So I've got like an ear cuff in this one as well. And then some more hoops in my second hole. And in this one, I've got a stud and obviously my helix piercing as well. But those are so, so cute. And I think I actually have, oh, I do have a matching necklace as well. So it's quite small, really dainty. And this looks like a new chain from Miss Oma as well. It looks like they're sort of very delicate chain, but every now and then, which I think you might've just been able to see, there's a little twist in it. So it almost creates like a little bit of detail on the chain so it doesn't look so basic. And also another thing that I really like about Miss Soma's necklaces is that they have the adjustable section on the end of the chain so that you can make them really short or as long as you like. And you can also, which is something that I do, get a selection of different chain lengths so that you can just swap over the pendants because these are really easy to take off. They're not attached to the necklace. You can just unthread them and then you can mix and match all your different pieces as well. So there's that one that's really delicate. I like that. I think that would look really nice with like a low cut silk shirt. And again, these are perfect for layering. So I'm gonna move on to my next one, which is a really basic, curb chain necklace this has been like a huge trend in jewelry over the last year or so ah oh my gosh oh i almost fell over oh my god yes and i have matching bracelet as well which i'm quite excited about because i've been looking for one of these for ages yes look at how cute that is i really like the size of that as well if you can see how much it Dangles, I like bracelets that move. I like my bracelets to move around. Now, if you're into something a little bit chunkier, then we have this, which is a little charm bracelet. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come in that close on the charms, but on each one of the charms, they're not detachable, by the way, they're actually attached to the bracelet. There's a little detail. So there's this one, which has got two little birds on there. There's a dice, a four leaf clover. So 90s, I think I even had a bracelet with all those charms on when I was a kid and I absolutely loved it. 
there see that one is a little bit chunkier but again I think layered with the two slightly more delicate ones yes I love that that is definitely going to be a new go-to combo for me so this collection is now available to buy on the Miss Soma website. I'll leave links down below in the description box for all of the items that I am wearing. And if you've got a favorite, I would love to know what that is. So leave me those comments down in the comments section below. And again, a massive thank you to Miss Soma and the whole Miss Soma team for sponsoring this section of the video. Now I'm gonna go and make myself some luncheon and then I need to head out and run some errands later. So I'm probably going to pop on a few of these new pieces of jewellery to give them a test run. So you guys will see how I style them a little bit later. Hello, good afternoon. I am, as I mentioned earlier, heading off to run some errands. I need to go and get film developed. So I've got to go to Snappy Snaps. And I've got to do some other bits and bobs, post office bank, the usual shebang. So I said I was going to show you guys how I styled some of my new Miss Soma Lucy Williams bits. And this is what I have opted for. So I've gone for the that longer cameo necklace and then these two, sorry that's a bit bright, these two delicate cross chains. I've got these two bracelets on which is the very fluid snaky one and the curb chain and earrings wise. I kept in those delicate little crosses and then I've just got some chunkier hoops at the back. T-shirt is second hand, it's obviously Aerosmith band T. Vintage Fendi Baguette Mama. The jeans are, where are these from? Oh, these are Marks and Spencers. I don't think these are available anymore. They were bought a few months ago and they sold out really quickly. And then boots, got my birthday boots on. So these are the ones that I decided to keep. They are the West Chelsea boots in the tan suede. So that is my outfit of the day. <laughs> deposited that on me and then ran off and then came back to collect it. Hello, I've got you now, have I? Um, so as you can see, I'm back home. I have run my errands for the day. I'm feeling organized. To-do list is ticked off. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and get changed because if I sit here for that long in this black t-shirt, I am going to be a fetching shade of brown and beige covered in dog hair. So thank you very much for joining me for another weekly vlog. The plan of action is for next week, because I know this is a bit weird watching a vlog on a Sunday, but you guys will hopefully have a little second hand haul coming your way on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that one and I will catch you all then. Bye!